In this video, I'll be covering Mario Less from CS50's problem set 6. So, we are basically supposed to create the pyramid, right? Uh, just like we did on week 1. And depending on what the user enters as height, is going to be the height of the pyramid. Okay? So, specifications, we want to use get int uh, to prompt the user for a positive integer between 1 and 8 inclusive. And if the user doesn't follow the requirements, we will just be uh, prompting the user again and again. So let's get started. First, we want to prompt the user for height, right? So, uh, but before that, let me just create our folder and file. So make directory sentimental Mario less CD send Mario less and um, code mario.py all right so here we have the file and to prompt the user for the height we need to use get int function and this get int function is in the cs50 library so let's do that so um, from cs50 import get int now we want to prompt the user for its height so previously for the C programming language, we used do while loop. And the equivalent for Python, um, it's not really a do while loop, it's just while true. Okay. So while true, we would be asking the user for something, which is going to be the height. So it's going to be height is equals to get and height. Right. And so this is where the user will uh, give its height. And then what we want to check is if the height is more than zero and the height is less than nine. So uh, from one to eight, basically, then what we want to do is um, break this while condition. So break. So if it enters this if condition, that means the user has entered a correct number then we can break from this while loop all right so next we want to print the um, pyramid so in C programming language we would have used a for loop so I guess we could use a for loop here as well so let's do that for um, the height in sorry for and then we create a variable right so uh, let's call it level so depending on the level that we are traversing so it starts from level 0 1 2 and 3 so it's basically this is basically an i in uh, c programming language so for level and height so it will go from 0 all the way to the number entered by the user so what we want to do here so level will start from 0 right so what we could do is basically print um, Okay, we, we actually don't want it to start from 0, we want it to start from 1. So what we could do is just like level plus 1, and then we can just uh, do this. So, so now what's going to happen is basically it's going to be printing out uh, the number of hashtags depending on uh, the height entered by the user. So let's test out the theory. So python mario.py, and let's say I give the height 5. Uh, level okay my bad so it's gonna be range okay it's not just height we have to write range so level in range okay so let's try it again five and so you guys see that it starts from um, one and it ends off all the way at five which is basically correct but then we need to have additional spacings at the front right so what we can do here is basically uh, print um, spaces and spaces is just gonna be like um, so for the very last um, for example this example that they've given us right of height 4 for the very last uh, level we have four hashtags and zero spaces then we have three hashtags and one space and then we have two hashtags and two space and then we have one hashtag and three space in total if you add the 
space and hashtags is always going to be equals to four so what we can do is basically height minus level okay um, height minus level minus one okay so it's gonna start off with height minus level so it's gonna be height minus zero which is four initially and then minus one so it's gonna be printing out three spaces and this basically works just take some time to maybe uh, run over uh, if you guys don't really understand this uh, code here don't worry just take some time to try to wrap your head around it it just uh, works okay so let's try it again so now oh yeah before that let me just times uh, let's just use a dot just so that you guys can see it clearly so Python Mario so let's use four okay so okay what ha what happened wrong is that um, the print function ends off with a new line character so what we can do is basically uh, and L and we don't want it to be a new line character so you guys can just do a simple Google search so um, print without new line Python right and then they'll tell you how to do it um, basically uh, empty a string with the and parameter so it's and and it's just an empty string so let's do that Python Mario for and now you see it works but with dots so what you want to be doing here is basically just change the dots for a space and run Python for and now it works so just to double check let me just um, check 50 all right so if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe and if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video bye bye